Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. What's your name? I'm Ugu Cynthia Chisun. Okay, what department? I'm nursing science. Your name and department? Asogwa Adania, nursing science. Ude Kate Ogechuku, nursing science is 400 level. Okay. So I want to know, what does it feel like to study nursing at university? Hmm. Well, as someone who has experienced both worlds, both for nursing school and university, I'd actually say the university is actually tougher than the nursing school because okay. here they give me some courses. Like while I was in nursing school, I didn't do like the course I wrote today, the medical jurisprudence. I, I didn't do it in nursing school. Okay. And some of the things I'm also doing here, I didn't do them in nursing school, like biochemistry, like a cocktail of anatomies and physios, yes. and a whole lot of them. I didn't do them there. So here is actually tougher and it's actually tough being a nursing student because you can't just like relax in the department because yeah. you, you stand a chance to be kicked out of the department if you don't do well. Academically. Yes. Yeah. So I remember when I got admission, if you ask me what was, what was my department, I'll say food science and technology in case okay. maybe I didn't make it right here and I'm being yeah. asked to change to leave the, the to leave the department. So okay. yeah. So why did you decide to study nursing at the university? Um because it's easy. For me, I, I get to read five years okay. in this university and then go home with like four certificates. Okay. So like, it's better for me than doing a three year with just one certificate. So I felt it was easier to hustle here than... Okay, like comparing it with the School of Nursing. Yeah. So has it always been your dream to be a nurse right from childhood or it was something you chose during your jam? Uh, little of both. Okay. I wanted to study nursing but then... We had to get the bag. Okay. Yeah. So what about you? Why did you decide to study nursing? Um, decided to study nursing was actually, should I say, it was impromptu actually. Like, yeah. Okay. I actually decided to study nursing like at the dying minute when I felt like I had could get the bag. Like, I like I had all, like yeah, yeah, nursing yeah. is oil well. So yes. I actually came because of using as an oil well. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> yes, yeah, truthfully. And then growing up. Then I actually found out that I actually have that, that zeal and that compassion to actually help people. Yes. And while on it, I actually found out that yes, I would have been better doing another thing because the, the zeal and the compassion for the, like, the practical aspect, not yeah. the shaggy aspect of okay. classroom, no, no, no. Like, it's actually something that I enjoy doing, like helping the sick, taking care of people. I don't like seeing blood, so I try so much like how I can to actually make sure that that blood is not there. Mm -hmm. So actually the passion plus that money aspect brought me to this department. And so why, why did you decide to study nursing? I will not lie. Okay. <laughs> I actually decided to study nursing. That was not even my original course I wanted to do. I wanted to do prosthesis and orthotics, mm. but Along the line, I discovered Ezioku, Ezioku, there is no job in this country. Mm. If I do prosthesis and orthotics, who is <laughs> going to employ me? And even if I want to migrate in the future, what are my chances of, you yeah. know, getting, go, employment. getting employment in that field? And thirdly, actually, as I said before, I wanted to study prosthesis and orthotics. So, and something happened in my house where I knew that if maybe my mom was not there because my mom is a nurse and some, there was an incident with my dad and I knew that had it been my mother was not a nurse and yeah. she didn't have like some um, some knowledge that she applied in that situation before we got to the hospital my dad would have died so yeah. I wanted the same thing to my family I didn't want to leave the health of my family members and my loved ones in the hands of a stranger you know if you go to hospital mm. without first aid by the time I got to go to the card, I go to the card, buy card, wait let's call your card, let's wait you would have died. <laughs> and it's not their fault because, yeah. you know, everything in the hospital is accounted for. Procedures. I do not, yes, the procedures is accounted yeah. for. So nobody wants to end up in the law court. So I wanted to also bring that same care and same knowledge that nothing would teach me into my home, as I said, because I did be my mother was not there in that situation where my father was like, now that I'm studying nursing, I'm actually seeing the severity of that case that my dad had. Yeah. By the time we actually say, let's put him in the car and get to the hospital, the man would have died. So okay. that was why I decided to so, nursing. Have you guys had any challenges experience like here at the university studying nursing. We can see, we can, we can, we can <laughs> stay here and talk about it tomorrow. Challenge is not even a challenge. Now. Yeah. So, the ch like, so what's ad what advice would you have for a student you know, that is applying for jam, wants to study nursing? Are you shaking your head? Okay. You know what? No, the advice I would give 
who said that I want to come and study in the University of Nigeria, any okay. campus, is that you should actually like get yourself because studying nursing here is actually very stressful, mm -hmm. like very, very, very stressful. But the only thing is just that actually it pays off. Okay. It actually pays off. That's why when you see them signing out, like it, their own is actually massive because the stress here is actually is higher than you can find it any other way. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of things like you should actually once you are here, you should buckle up. You should always be on your toes because you can actually live at every point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to be strong and because it's also actually very expensive here. Okay, have you had any uh, memorable experience so far in school? Memorable experience? Yeah. I can't really tell you because maybe when you got into you got your admission or something like that. My admission, I wasn't that excited because of course <laughs> I merited it. So yeah, but then aside that, this school is actually. Uh, just the fact that this school thus far, they have, they have given me love. Okay. Not the school per se, but then the people I met through the school. Okay. I've experienced love, uh, very, very undiluted love from people. Yeah, good support system. Good support system, like, but then, aside that, um, memories inside this school, I don't even have the time <laughs> okay. to create them, but then, we thank God for everything. So I want to ask you, comparing between School of Nursing and studying nursing at university, which would you advise for a student that is trying to make this decision? First of all, if you have the time, experience both worlds, get the best of both worlds. Because okay. in nursing school, like me personally, I know more of practicals. Yeah. Here, we don't do much of practical, but in nursing school, we had, like, I remember if you do something in nursing school, then your punishment was going to be go to the ward. Yes, yeah. it was a punishment, but it was like a beneficial, a it, it was a learning experience. So if you can experience the best of both worlds, fine, if you can get both of them. I actually have a sister that's in nursing school, and she's going to take a direct entry okay. from here. And at the stage she is now, when I was in her stage in, in, in this school, I couldn't conduct labor and delivery. But where she is, she can conduct full labor and delivery. So mm -hmm. if you can experience both of the, the, the best of both of the worlds, come. But if you don't have time, yeah. and you have things that you do, you can come to the university and do that. Because I believe you can learn on the job. Yeah. You can learn while working. Mm -hmm. Even though you, it's not like you're going to do. That's why they, they added a one-year internship for us. Yes. So if you, ha if you are in a hurry and if you feel like, oh, I have things that I want to do in my time, you should come to the university. Okay. So how lucrative is nursing in Nigeria and abroad? <clears throat> okay, nursing <laughs> in Nigeria. Yes. It's actually very, very lucrative because each school, each every facility actually needs a nurse. Yes. That's one very much important thing. Like even down to some persons, their parents are aged, they actually need a personal nurse for yes. the year. So actually nursing here is actually very lucrative. But it can't be compared to when you chapa. Yeah, oh my god. Abroad. Yeah, abroad. When you go out, like nursing is actually a gold mine, I yes. would call it, because outside there they actually yeah, they actually um <laughs> respect nurses yes. more they actually give them all they deserve because here you might actually I don't, they don't really pay them to, uh, to up to what they actually do yes, here yes. but still it's you can actually crazy. feed here yeah, yes yeah. as they know there's no how you wouldn't eat in nigeria but i feel when you go out you actually live more like your standard of living is actually larger and okay. they respect you more even as you earn yeah so you want to have to watch your stage no, it's basically same thing just uh this country you are underestimated you have heaps of work to do with little income or appreciation but over there your your the, whatever measure of your work will equal to the measure of your pay okay so uh, any word of advice you want to give generally to students and those studying nursing if you're coming to this school, carry plenty of food because you need it. <laughs> yes. I bring plenty more if you um if you have the resources, yeah, yeah. you need to both human and financial resources. Carry it and come to this school because this school will show you different types of shege that you'll be so immune to shege. Secondly, don't forget where you're coming from. Okay. I know this is a university and when you come, you see people from different backgrounds. Um, people who could do things and get away with it easily mm -hmm. and they have more understanding parents than you are. But you, you know where you're coming from. I, I know who my father is. Mm -hmm. So if I do anyhow, I cannot go home. That one is there, you know, like it's not like he doesn't love me, but yeah. there are there, there are some people who had things handed to them on a platter of gold. You, you know, uh, like before you got it. So do okay. not forget where you're coming from. Don't get carried away. There is life after university. Whatever that person is telling you, oh, experience it now. 
of course you will still experience it. Your number one reason to come here is to get a license or a certificate depending mm. on what you, what you want to do. Don't forget where you are coming from. Hold God tight. Or if you used to do whatever I watch you worship, <laughs> hold it very, very tight because so you need it. So that's yeah. not the only advice I have. There, there's something I've heard that students in nursing school and those studying nursing at university usually get uh, marriage proposals. You no, know? <laughs> you know, that is one good aspect of it. So can you like give me a confirmation to that? See, sorry, yo. <laughs> sorry. So anybody that's going to watch it, especially if you're a man, mm -hmm. Nigerian men are low-key gold diggers, but they don't want to accept it. Okay. So the re yes, yes, they are low-key gold diggers, but they don't really want to accept it. They are not. It's not like they are really marrying us because they have too much of love for okay. you. Know, of course, they are marrying you because of maybe what they feel like the they would get, the, the opportunities and the cares that they are going, they, they are going to get from you. So it's true that they get the marriage proposal, but how true? is that marriage proposal if i if something happens and i lose my nursing license is that love you have that love you have for me is it still going to be there okay. if something happens that i cannot bring that thing and bring it that it was nothing that made me to bring it to you in the first place are you still going to be able to love me so that's what i said and now in this present times where jackpot is the real the yeah, real the deal real now deal. most of the times the men look at the nurses as like a cash cow, a yeah. new cow to run away the from platform. this call. And that's why you hear when they go outside there and they'll be like, oh, don't bring your Nigerian wife to the UK or don't bring your Nigerian nurse wife to the UK. It's because they have gone there and they have tried to maltreat the woman. And the woman has shown them that, oh, waiting I pass for, through for this school, I not carry the license for your name. So you know if you show me mm. nonsense. So they feel like, oh, okay, after I've brought you, I'm digressing. But the truth is that, yes, they get the, marri the marriage proposal. Is that marriage proposal? Okay. That's the question. I want every nursing student that is getting marriage proposal. Don't, is, is the person marry you because you're a nurse or because you're actually a human being yeah. who he loves. So yes, they get the marriage proposal, but to me, I've really weighed it. It's not... Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the last question. So just describe the typical day of a nursing student in university. Stressful. It's stressful. So like from morning to evening, can you just break down your daily activities, what it looks like? Hmm. As a student, you get to wake up in the morning, okay. let's say 5, 5.30. Prepare come for class by Eight. You'd be in class, so like let's say you have you get an hour break. If okay. you are fortunate, most times you'd be in class till like five, five thirty p.m. Wow. Are you serious? Then you get back home, eat, rest, revise your, your book, mm. and the cycle begins all over again. So it's actually pretty. Is there, is there an online class or something? Yeah, you could do your nice class by yourself, but in the end of the at the end of the day, you find that you have no time for yourself you have very less time okay can you describe the let me just okay um, life of a typical nursing student yeah wake up very early if you really like you're really serious no, you want time? to make it yeah time? wake up like 3 30 in the morning mm -hmm. you start with the day's activity the, the day's work you didn't finish last night mm. and actually read through to like um, around five, six. If you are someone that cooks, mm. you could actually make your breakfast and rush out to class. You have to be in class before six so that you can actually find where to sit. Mm. Uh -huh. Then when you get to the class, you say like you spaced, you receive lectures to like five, mm. which in within me might get one hour or thirty minutes break. Then once it's five, you might actually walk back to um, wherever you're coming from, hostel, lodge. Before you get there, it's six p.m. Mm -hmm. Then when you get back. You just have like 30 or one hour to like 30 minutes or one hour to like freshen up, dress wow. up, and go for evening class. You get for serious students, or if you're actually someone that you are you are in, into one fellowship or the other, you could actually go and come back. Then like eight, you are back to the class to mm -hmm. do your night class. You get if okay. yes, do, do night class for but especially exam periods. Eight nine, go for night class come back around 4 if you are someone like waking up by 3.30 is for someone that went for evening class yes, and, slept. Yeah, and slept yes but if you actually went for night class you find out that you come back by 4 have to just have your bath yeah. eat and rush out again and that's how the day goes every day like if your care is not taken if you don't eat very well you end up collapsing one day because okay. the stress is on it so let me hand with you do you think an average student can study nursing at university if we're being honest yes if we had what you can, 
So if you know that when you come, you are going to put in extra effort, because it's from average, you get to above average. Yeah. So if you're an average student, and when you come to your university and you utilize all the resources, yes, you can actually make it in nothing. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah.